What's up guys, Jason Wardrop here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create custom conversions with Facebook's Facebook Pixel and also how to go through and create custom audiences with the Facebook Pixel and this was a question we've got, is it Cordell Johnson right here, you guys can see he said, so does the Facebook Pixel track conversions for different ads and websites? Say I install the Pixel to one site and I'm running ads to that site and I also install it to a different website and running different ads to that site, will it track conversions separately, alright? So I went through and I've actually got a long detailed explanation here, but I figured it'd be easier to go through and make a video and show you guys exactly what we're talking about here. So basically he said, okay, if I've got one Facebook pixel, can that one pixel go through and track multiple conversions, multiple events, and I create different audiences with it, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. So let's jump over here to the Facebook Ads Manager. And if you guys, I'm going to link to that video, so this one of how to set up your Facebook pixel, because if you guys don't know how to do that, you guys can see it's for beginners, it's really easy step by step, I show you exactly how to set up the pixel. So we're not going to do that in this video, but once we have that pixel installed, we want to go through and take that pixel, it's a little bit of code, and you just copy and paste it on all of the pages of your website. Okay, so if you have like a sales funnel and multiple steps on all those pages, every page on your blog, on your website, everything and so you can go through and use this pixel for your business right now really quick one thing that I brought up to um, Cordell here is you want the same pixel for your whole business now if you got two businesses like so let's say you're in real estate and you've also got like a fitness personal training business ideally you'd want to set up two Facebook ads accounts and have two separate pixels that you're only tracking for your real estate you're only tracking with this pixel for your fitness business. You're only tracking with this pixel or whatever types of business that you're in, right? And that way, Facebook, because the pixel, what happens is it gets trained. And so they start to learn, Facebook starts to learn what types of people they should be showing your ads in front of to generate more leads, make more sales, and all that good stuff. So just jumping back over here into the ads manager, guys. What we want to do now is we can go through and create custom conversions. Okay, so now this basically means like we could set up a conversion for a lead that's generated. We could set up a conversion for, hey, this person like converted into a sale, so they actually bought a product. So let's say you've got five different products. You can create a conversion for each one of your different products. So like let's just use the um, let's use the fitness example, for example. Okay, so you've got an energy product, you can have a conversion for that. You have a protein supplement, you have a conversion for that. Maybe you've got a multivitamin, you've got a conversion for that. So you can go through and track all these different conversions and actually give it a value. Okay, so all we're going to do is come over here to create a custom conversion. All right now, let me just give you guys a quick example here. So what? Let's let's just say I've got um, I've got this this um, landing page email templates. So somebody I send people here. Hey, download the email templates. Now if they just hit this page right here. It, they're just a website visitor and, and I've got the pixel all set up you guys can see up here in the corner So it's tracking anyone who visits this page now if I want to actually track Conversions people that have converted into a lead I could say hey download now and obviously like this is like more of the probably There's probably better ways to do this is go back into your like landing page builder or whatever you're using and get the URL to the next page But just to show you guys the example here so I opt in and now this URL up here This is the URL that I want to go through and use for the conversion. Okay, so now typically what happens, see this like UVID equals, this is like a unique identifier to every individual lead, whereas everything before the question mark here, um, typically when you have a question mark, it's kind of like it means like an and statement. It's like this and also it's this unique identifier, right? So you just want to have everything before that. And so we're going to come over here to custom conversions. And we can say, okay, name the conversion. We can say email templates lead, right? So we say select a category and they are a lead. Okay, and then we say, okay, here is the rule. Okay, all URL traffic, okay, or you can say right there and say the URL contains or doesn't contain or equals to, but we're going to say contains because it's going to have this unique identifier at the end. And we'll just throw in this right here. Okay, so we throw in that URL and then we come down here. We can actually add a value. Now, this just because it's a lead, it probably doesn't have a value. But let's say that this was for instead of email templates, let's say this is for protein supplement or something like that. And every single time, so we could say 
Okay, this instead of a lead, this is an actual purchase. And let's say we're selling it for uh, $49, okay? Oh, I don't think it likes the dollar sign in there. So we go through and say it's $49. So now every time Facebook can go through and track and say every time somebody has bought this, this is worth $49 to your business. Because then you can go measure out. You can have multiple conversions. You can have one for the lead and it'll have your cost per lead. So like let's say it's five bucks per lead. And then for every um, 10 leads, you're making a, um, a $50 sale right here. So that, at that point, you're breaking even, right? So you get $5 per lead. You generate 10 leads. And of those 10, 10% 10 so one person buys and they buy that $50 product and then you're basically you know backing out on all of your ad spend okay so all we do is we just hit create here and then it's just gonna come down and what happens all right so you can see down here this is the custom conversion the protein supplement this is obviously because it has no activity yet so you can just go refresh that thank you page refresh this page and you're all set and you're good to go now this is where you can go through and like he was saying you can create multiple Conversion events so you can say hey, this is a lead for people that have opted in so like let's say you're in real estate, right? This person's opt-in is a buyer lead this person is a seller lead open house lead You can have all the different conversion events for that so you can see like how many of each type of lead you're generating And then another cool thing you can do is with all these different URLs and conversion events you can create separate audiences so if we come over here to audiences so we just go audiences right here and we can say hey anyone that hit this page right here this is somebody that um, we can go through and create an audience that's auto updated because if we may make it based off of a customer file we have to keep our always going in and uploading the new information the new contact info and it doesn't always match directly and so what this does is it bases it based off of the person that's visiting on their computer uh, from the browser and all that stuff it, it, it's cookies them right so we come over here we say create an audience and we say a custom audience we're gonna create website traffic. We'll say, hey, not all website visitors, but people who visit a specific web page. So we'll throw in this URL right here. Okay, and we can say, hey, we only want to track people in the last 30 days, in the last like seven days, if you just want to track the people that have visited there recently, or it goes for a max of 180 days. So basically the last six months is the max. And so you can create this big audience of everyone that's purchased a supplement from you or purchase a product or become a lead or register for a webinar or whatever you might be doing Okay, so then we can come in here and say um, We'll say the email Template lead okay, and then we'll just say demo right here Then another cool thing you can do is you can even refine this you can say hey I want this but I also want to include anyone that's visited Another type of page so like you could basically create an audience for anyone that's become a lead so um, if anyone's become a buyer lead you could put in the URL of the to the thank you page on the buyer lead landing page. You could put a, um, a another URL right in here for the seller lead page, okay? And then just go in through, and so you can create an audience for each one of them individually or all of them together, all right? And you can also say, hey, um, I want everyone that's like hit this page, but I want to exclude anybody that's maybe like purchased other products, right? So like, let's say you're going through and they purchased your first product in your sales funnel. But they didn't purchase your second product then you want to be able to exclude everyone that did purchase that second product because you don't want to go be remarketing back to them you only want to be remarketing to the people that already purchased the first product right so we just hit create audience and we can go through and continually create different audiences like this and so now we have all the stuff this information that the pixel is giving us it's creating this custom audience that we can go back and remarket retarget with our ads and target all of our ads specifically just to these people then we also have the custom conversion events that we're creating whether someone becomes a lead they buy some some product of ours they you know they, they register for a webinar or whatever it might be and then we're going through and updating and the more data we get with all this information the better the Facebook pixel gets because you know if you have a hundred data points versus a thousand data points the thousands gonna be better because they're able to see a lot more of like what your typical customer is like Okay, so anyway guys, hopefully this video was helpful as far as diving in a little bit deeper on the Facebook pixel and creating custom conversions, creating custom audiences within Facebook Ads Manager and going through and growing your business. And just like, you know, Cordell said right here, he had a question and I went through, shot a video. If you guys have other specific questions on the Facebook Ads Manager or there's something that I covered that you weren't fully clear on, make sure you guys comment down below this video and I'll be able to cover it and hit it in another video and then I'll link 
this video to uh, your comments so you guys have that as well. If you guys found this video helpful today, make sure you go ahead and like the, the, the video, comment down below, and also if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we try to launch a new video every single day. Doesn't always happen, life gets in the way, life gets crazy busy, all that stuff, but we try to get one out every single day and showing you how to generate more leads, make more money, and grow your business, right? So thanks so much for watching today, guys, and with that said, I will see you all tomorrow.